Right. Our, our whole family is just devastated. Yeah. A North County family is grieving the brutal murder of a mother killed after going on a first date with a man to a Seattle Mariners game. Good evening. I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I am Wale Aliu. ABC 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco explains how Letitia Martinez's generosity ended in tragedy. Leticia Martinez grew up in Encinitas, but spent most of her adult life in Seattle. The 58-year-old single mom owned a popular cafe and was known for holding multicultural events. She wanted to show, um, grow and help grow the community. Her sister says Letty, as the family called her, was known for her generosity. She was always um, friendly with, with with people and wanted to share anything she would have. It wasn't a surprise that she'd share Mariners tickets with a man she met at a Seattle area Costco. Letty and Brett Gitchell, seen here, met at the game March 31st. She, she did everything right. She was in a public place, mm -hmm. thought she was safe. Ultimately, police would use this photo to help catch her suspected killer. 11 days later, police found Letty's body in a ditch. She'd been strangled. Her car was found burned. My brother says there's people out there that are just parasites. And she just happened to run into one. Gitchell pleaded not guilty to murdering Letty. He is also charged with kidnapping and trying to kill her 24-year-old son, Patrick. Patrick has special needs, but was able to fight him off and get away. She was the sole caregiver to my nephew. Um, it, it, you know, she would say it's him and I forever. <laughs> Now the family has started this GoFundMe to help raise money for her son. It was always about Patrick and how she loved Patrick. All the, all the calls she would give us and she would talk to her mother daily. Leticia's parents and siblings all live in the Encinitas area. They'll hold a memorial service for her June 17th here at St. John Church in Encinitas. Rachel Bianco, ABC 10 News. And Gitchell has a lengthy criminal record. He's in jail on $5 million bail.